This is Twit. Rocket Lab built two Escapade spacecraft, which is cool. That's the first time it's been done that way under, I assume, what were fixed price contracts. Contracts. They've arrived at Cape uh, at the Kennedy Space Center and will be launched to Mars on were, a new Glenn rocket. What? Were you going to say Cape Kennedy? Is that what you were going to say? I almost did. Yeah. I know. I can tell. I can tell. That's, <laughs> that's my boomer showing through. And they are escapade is short because NASA loves loves them. Their acronyms for the Escape and Plasma Acceleration Dynamic Explorers, uh, which will be going to Mars to kind of like uh, Maven to measure uh, the loss of atmosphere and the impact of solar wind on the Martian atmosphere and how it's being basically destroyed on an ongoing basis. The most interesting thing about this mission, besides uh, Rocket Lab's involvement, is that it's coming in at 80 million. Now, I don't think that includes launch costs. That's got to mm-hmm. be just, just program costs. But that's about the same price as India's Mars Orbiter mission, which is really inexpensive. So if this works, this is a whole new ball game for uh, American robotic space exploration. It'll be very interesting. Now, Rocket Lab is, you know, a, a rel- this is going to be their first interplanetary mission. And they're not sending one, but as you mentioned, two different uh, probes. And, you know, Escapade is interesting because it's going to study the, uh, I believe it's going to study like the the the, the atmosphere of Mars and, um, and understand like how hopefully the whole planet evolved over time and where the water went through this plasma escape from uh, the upper atmosphere. Did we talk? About the the acronym again, you you, you said you said it out right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But they they actually have separate names too. They're called blue and gold uh, yeah. for, for for their UCLA's colors. I'm not saying. gonna say anything because I get to celebrate some USC astronauts later. So anyway, um, but um, but the really interesting part about this is that they are finally in Florida. This is a mission that was supposed to launch last year. Almost a year ago, as we're recording this, in in the fall of twenty uh, twenty four, and and now finally it's ready to go because we've been waiting upon waiting for the new Glenn rocket to be ready for it. Uh, so, uh, as of uh, now, we're, we're thinking that uh, it's going to launch. We actually got an update today from Blue Origin uh, that they're going to. They think that new Glenn's going to be ready uh, for about a mid October. Uh, mid-month launch uh, as, as we're, you know, it's the end of September uh, right now as we're recording this. So we have uh, a good uh, idea of when it's going to be ready. But this arrival of the spacecraft to Florida is a pivotal point because it says that now the campaign is in earnest uh, only a few weeks, you know, maybe like a month away. Hmm. Fabulous. Yeah, I want uh, I want Rocket Lab to go to Venus. I talked to Peter Beck about that a lot, but he he told me uh, last month that this mission, in particular, Escapade, is going to be very key for them to prove out their concepts because they want to build the Mars telecommunications orbiter for NASA, and they've got their sights set on Mars sample return possibly as well. Well, their original idea for Venus was they were going to launch that themselves, right? Yeah, but but now you know with actual contracts where they're going to people want to pay money to go yeah. to another planet you can see that might be a little bit more attractive uh, well, should than, they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly if you like what you just saw be sure to check out this week in space you can catch us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe to our youtube channel using the links below thanks 